So while working in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing that we typically do is we throw on some footage onto our timeline and everything is snappy and working great. But then, you know, as we're getting through the edit, we decide that we want to put on some titles, some transitions, some effects, things that are powered by Fusion. And a big thing that you'll end up seeing is that the overall playback speed drops significantly. And that comes down to a couple of different reasons. It could be the element that we're using, whoever created it didn't make it in the most efficient way. It could be the version of DaVinci Resolve we're currently using. And you know, if we really think about it, it can come down to the hardware in which we're using as well. So I wanna show you a way in which while we're working, DaVinci Resolve in the background can actually start to cache those elements and make the playback just as silky smooth as any other video clip that we play back in DaVinci Resolve. So let me quickly show you here, if we come up to the effects and let's go into titles. And you know, let's work with my free pack here. You can actually go to my website and download these if you want to. And you can see that these are pretty efficient titles. So you can make efficient titles that, you know, playback speed is silky smooth. And it really depends on the hardware you have as well. You know, I'm, I'm not working on the best of hardware and I'll quickly show you that hardware here, but you know, we're playing back here and everything is super smooth, but let's go back to, or let's go to a title that uh, has a couple of more elements going on that is uh, going to slow down the overall process. So let's add in, let's add in this one here. And one thing that you will notice once this renders in is that there's a lot of elements here. We actually have a blur in here as well. So let's go back to the beginning and play this. And what we'll quickly see is that the playback here isn't ideal, right? It's going pretty slow. So how can we speed this up so that our playback is significantly quicker? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna go into Preferences. And we're gonna make sure that we click on Memory and GPU and we wanna make sure that these settings here are pushed all the way over so that DaVinci Resolve has access to all of the memory our system has. Yes, everyone has a different amount of memory in their computer, but we wanna make sure that DaVinci Resolve has access to all of it. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to Playback. Let's go into Fusion Memory Cache and we'll turn that on to Auto. We can also go into a Render Cache and we'll turn this on to Smart. Let me explain to you what the Render Cache is here. And we can see down here that the bar is currently red and it's also turning blue. So what the render cache is, is it's making a bunch of temporary files on our system of every single frame of the element that is here. So this particular title, because it's powered by Fusion, these three little stars over here, what it's doing is in the background, since we're currently not using the system for something else, is it's rendering out all of the frames for this particular element and it's making it into a temporary file. And our computer, when it's time to play back, what it's gonna do is it's going to look for those temporary files and start to play back those temporary files instead of playing or trying to process the title on the fly. So now if I was to play this, we can see that, okay, this particular portion here, as it plays through there, it went smooth, but this beginning part really needs to first render. But as you see, while it's playing that through, every frame that was processed, it automatically started to save those. And now it's going to save the rest of the frames here. And so our computer, instead of processing this title and trying to figure out all the math on the fly as the playhead's moving across, all it's doing now is just reading from a file. So now everything is super silky smooth. Now the biggest thing to remember here is that this is a temporary file. So think of these as if I wanted to render out this particular title here, and let's say uh, someone comes back and they say, hey, I want this font to be a different font, right? But we already rendered it out. Well, what we'd have to do then is re-render it out. And that's the same way for the cache here. If I was to come in here and let's say I switch up this font to something else, so a completely different font, we can see that that bar turned red and now it has to go through the whole process of rendering it out again. But what it's doing is it's just doing the work one time instead of trying to do the work on the fly while the playhead is moving. This really saves a lot of time when we're moving around on the timeline and we want to look at something over again because it only has to process one time instead of trying to process on the fly every time. 
And so now if I go, let's go back to the beginning here and I play that, it's gonna be silky smooth. Obviously once it gets to here, I don't think there's really much there. It'll just play through. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's how we would get uh, smoother playback for elements that really don't play back smooth. And that's the same way if we were to, let me actually add in here another element here. We'll add this element on here. Let me uh, pull this over here quick and we can go into, let's just do some uh, transitions here. And what should we pick? Let's do this transition here. And so what we'll see here is that this particular bar is here, but as we play through this, it will also cache those and um, the same sort of deal here. This is this particular uh, transition here is being processed through Fusion. If I let my system go, it will then process all of that and then we can get that playback going super smooth. Those are, I didn't realize that this is a completely different aspect ratio and that looks very weird like that, but yeah. So that's <laughs> just another one of those uh, elements that we can get to play back really, really smooth. And a big thing that this really helps out for, especially for title, or excuse me, transitions like this, is if we have something, let's put this one on here and actually let's change this up to, uh, get that to be full screen here. And if we take a look at this, this particular element, we can turn on motion blur. So if we turn this motion blur up a bit, right, we can see that normal playback really wouldn't be playing back all of that great, right? But what we can do is we can have this uh, cache through here and then we have that playing back super smooth just like that, right? So it really helps with a lot of different elements that are in Fusion or that get processed through Fusion so that now every time that I play this back, it's not trying to process that on the fly, it's just reading those cached files there. And so yeah, that's pretty much how we would deal with that. Now remember, we came up here to playback and we went into render cache and we turned it to smart. Smart is so we don't have to go into each and every element and say, okay, render cache this, render cache that. If it's possible to render cache something that it doesn't think that it can play back in real time, it will then automatically set that up for the render cache. Anytime that we would change something here, so if I was to say, okay, I don't want it to process like that, I actually want this to bounce, we can see that this is going to automatically reset. And now once we process through that, or we let it go all the way through. Oh, that was pretty quick. Uh, we can see it goes up and it does its little bounce. And yeah, now we can play back every time pretty quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much that. If you want any of these elements that I've been showing off here, they're all on the website, a part of the pro membership that you can take a look at. You can also take a look at the free titles. I speak, speaking of all of that, because I feel like I'm pretty much done with showing how to get a smooth playback here. If you want to learn DaVinci Resolve, I have a bunch of courses on the website. I also have a bunch of these transitions and titles and a ton of different effects on the website as well. You can take a look at those. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks so so much for watching till the next one have a good one guys peace